Hello, my name's Matthew, and I'm going to talk about one of the memes that has been spreading around on my left-wing bubble of a Facebook page. The meme was a tweet passed on by Nia, and it says, Apocalyptic fiction. When the plagues come, civilization will fall. Random bands of mistrustful humans will attack each other. All moral bonds will break. And then a paragraph break. Humans during plague. Let's stream our art for free. Let's sing to each other. Let's share tips. Let's collaborate online. Now, I shared this because it's something that I think a lot of people will not have been exposed to. This element of the crisis that's happening now all over the world. And with every crisis that has ever happened to humans, people do amazing things. We have these apocalyptic fiction things that uh, come from a right-wing mentality or a very cynical mentality or from a general psychological condition that everyone has, which is that other people are shit compared to me. And everyone thinks, oh, I will be fine. I would never do that. I would never do that. But of course, other people will. You can't trust anyone. And this is hundreds of years, hundreds of years of, pe of being told to distrust your neighbor. This is the argument for racism. This is the argument why we should not band together as a class. This is communism versus capitalism. This is all, everything comes down to don't get together and steal our money. And so I think it's fair that there are some apocalyptic fiction pieces that do uh, portray it in a more positive way. I'm thinking of one that I watched recently. This was a film. Uh, the Mist by Frank Darabont, based on the Stephen King book. And, uh, and I think that that played with it really well, because the people try to work together. And the main character is one of those who is trying to avoid all of this violence. And they use the... the it's not so much a MacGuffin. The, the Mist is the MacGuffin. But it's a trigger for this collapse of civilization, which is religion in this case. And so it give, bans people against each other. History sh shows that religion has always been used to keep people against each other. You know, how many factions of Christianity are there? And I think it's clear from that movie that if you split up, some of you go off and, spoiler alert, shoot your family in the face. So all of these apocalyptic fiction are trying to show that all of this is bad. We shouldn't do this. We should work together to avoid the apocalypse because then we're going to fall apart anyway. I remember in high school reading William Golding's Lord of the Flies and absolutely hating it because to me it, it it's uh, it's just it just felt like bullshit because when when you analyze something where the themes are so obvious it just kills any of the story. So for me it was just like Jack is awful. He is the bad side of us. It's not realistic. This is not what people will do. Piggy wouldn't be killed like that. There are these mindless followers of Jack who do his bidding, which is an allegory for the Nazis, but as we're seeing right now in the world, these are still people that are doing these Nazi things, and it comes from so much more than just human nature. Whereas if you read the book A Paradise Built in Hell by Rebecca Solnit, it's a truly remarkable book. I cried in the prologue of this book. Um, this, this book covers a, a slew of different disasters that have happened to communities. Uh, Solnit starts the book with the 1906 earthquake and the resulting fires in San Francisco. And she points out that all of the people there were helping each other 
People run towards the fire to help. People don't run away. People don't fight against each other. And it's taken a full-blooded shift in consciousness to starting in the 1980s in this neoliberal Thatcher's society doesn't exist nonsense that has been peddled day after day after day for 40 years now to lead to people hoarding guns and hoarding toilet paper. Whereas actually, this meme says, let's stream our art for free. And even bullshit celebrities are trying to do that. They're failing epically. No one wants to see them singing Imagine. Imagine no possessions from my 25 million mansion. Absolute bullshit. But watching... Judy Dench singing or celebrities playing with their dog. Whatever. Fine. But people are creating. People are doing so much together. The people on the streets of Italy, the worst hit country at the moment. And they're singing to each other. And they're clapping for the emergency workers. They're sharing ideas. My, f my The rest of my Facebook page is full of fellow teachers sharing advice for all these panicking parents. How do I homeschool my child? Well, ask a teacher. They'll give you all the resources. I have thousands of gigabytes of stuff I could share with you. Just tell me what you need and I will send it. And the key line in this meme, let's collaborate online. People are using this huge network that is the internet to help each other. Let's work out how to help each other. Let's share the truth, which Boris Johnson has not done, which Trump cannot do, which Putin refuses to do. Putin, Putin's team invented how to not share the truth. All the disinformation we see, that is 2002 policy for Putin's Russia, disinformation. And it works. And now Boris is copying, and Trump was copying, and Orban and Erdogan, all of these people that are copying the Russian model. Whereas Russia right now has very few actual uh, confirmed cases. And no one in this country believes it. No one believes it. But we're trying to share what the information we have, and we're helping. That is what people do. People may be hoarding toilet paper, but as soon as they get home, they're sharing their culture. That's what this is, this art, this singing, this teaching. These are all parts of who we are, not what we do, but who we are as people. And we are finding that. The trouble is that that's so separate from the way we live our lives outside. So in a crisis, we go outside and we act like, crazy people hoarding but I'm sure if you asked every one of those individuals they would say that they're doing it to help their family or they're genuinely scared which is the other answer which is why we are sharing the information together because what the information we receive from government is so scary it's not what we want whereas if we work together government is working for us whereas if we work for each other we need to help each other and i think that sharing this meme just spread that word a little bit and i like it and i'll come back to it and smile whenever it gets a like from a friend thank you nia for sharing your meme and thank you for listening.